Hello students, in this presentation we will discuss file pointers and their manipulators, how to access the file when we open the file for reading or writing, how to move within the file, where our pointer will reach while writing and reading a file. So there are two pointers, get pointer and put pointer. Get pointer is used when we open the file for reading it is known as input pointer and put pointer is used for writing to a given file we it means output pointer when we open the file for writing each time when we use get or, or put pointer automatically pointer moves to the next location it gets automatically advanced now when we open the file in read only mode means we want to read input take the input from the file so input pointer that is get pointer will set at beginning when we open the file in write only mode existing contents are deleted and the blank file get will open get will be opened and our pointer will set at the beginning position and when we open the file in append mode means existing contents are there we our file pointer will move to the end of the file so output pointer put pointer will move to the end of the file now there are various functions which will help us in to control all the, the get pointer and put pointer there are four main functions seek g seek p tell g tell p seek g g stands for get pointer in seek p p stands for put pointer similarly in tell g g stands for get pointer tell p p stands for put pointer first one i will discuss seek g it will move to move the get pointer that is g get pointer input pointer to a particular location which is mentioned in the bracket of the seek g similarly put pointer it will put the put pointer to a particular location tell tell g function will gives us the current position of the get pointer where get pointer is lying currently in the file and tell p will tell us where put pointer is lying currently in the file example in file dot seek g bracket 10 it will tell us we need to move in uh, through the stream in file file is attached to the stream seek g pointer means get pointer will move to the 10th byte of the file actually bytes start from 0 so when it will reach the 10th location the real counting will be the 11th byte in the file Similarly, in this in this slide, the top blue box, a small example, we are creating one stream, OF stream, file out. File out will open a file hello and hello file is opened in append mode. It means pointer will move to output pointer, put pointer will move at the end position of the file. Now, file out dot tell p, tell p function will tell us the position of the pointer put pointer current position and that position means number of uh, last by the last byte end of the file because file is opened in append mode so that last position like 20 30 50 will get in p int p it tells us the size of the file where number of bytes in the file indirectly now here when we use seek g seek p tell p tell g if we are moving the pointer we are getting the position we want to move from the current position absolute position but if we want to give any reference position means from from particular position we want to if suppose we have file of 10 lines we put seek g 10 means it will start from first line counting the bytes we want to start its counting from the seventh line so means we don't want to move from absolute position we want to move our pointer from reference position so seek g seek p has the capability to take two arguments first is the offset value the number we want to move comma reference position reference position from where we want to start moving the pointer this reference position can take three values see in the uh, see on the downside of this uh, presentation ios big b e g beginning c u r current e n d end if we put i o s be beginning it means we want to move from start of the file c u r means we want to start the pointer from the current position of the pointer e n d means we want to start from the end of the file i will show explain you with 
few examples all the examples are taken from your book only first line first is f out dot cg 0 comma ios big it means we want to move zero steps from the beginning so it means we will remain at the beginning only go to start second line we want to move zero steps from current position so it will stay at the current position we want to move zero steps to from the end position so we will stay at the end position in the fourth line we want to move m steps from beginning so it will move to m plus oneth byte in the file because it starts from the zeroth position so we want to go to the mth byte from the beginning we want to move to the mth byte from the current position so forward by m bytes from the current position here in the second last line minus m comma ios cur it means we want to move the current position not forward but backward how we get to know that we want to move backward by minus sign because m along with m the mentioned sign is minus m it will move backward similarly last line minus m comma ios end from uh, end position we want to move backward minus m steps obviously if from end position you can't move forward because there is no enough material after end we want to move backward only this complete topic from your book only so the main points are we have two pointers get pointer and put pointer then we have four functions to manipulate them seek g seek p tell p tell g then we have to seek g has two arguments offset and reference position you should know the meaning of what is offset what is reference position and reference position can take only three values beginning current and end thank you